Hello viewers, welcome to APGNation.com and to my review of Nom Nom Galaxy. A copy of this game was provided to APG for the purpose of this review, so thank you very much to the devs and publishers. You are an astro worker of Supco, whose business goal is to explore the known universe in search of the finest ingredients to create the best and nomious soups imaginable. So your role as an astro worker is to explore the galaxy and its planets, construct fully functional soup producing factories, and discover nom worthy ingredients to create the yummiest soups in the galaxy. And to become the best soup company in the galaxy, you of course need to outsell your competitors and take over control of the soup marketplace. There's nothing else to the story besides this and there really isn't any characters besides you and your boss. This game is all about exploring, scavenging, constructing, overcoming and surviving. Nom Nom Galaxy is the perfect blend of many game genres. Exploration, adventure, platforming, strategy, construction, action, tower defense and base building. All of these different genres found in a variety of games of its kind all blended into one fantastic package. The game features a large number of planets for you to explore and conquer, either on your own or split screen co-op with a mate or even up to 4 player online multiplayer. As well as this, there are also challenge modes and a variety of ingredients and combinations to discover, so there is a lot to keep you busy for hours on end. So at the start of each level you crash land on a planet, and from here it is entirely up to you to start collecting blue matter. This is used to construct your soup factory from corridors to soup producing machines and space rockets to ship off your soup to your hungry customers. The game is played from a 2D perspective, featuring lively animated visuals with fully destructible blocky environments, similar to other popular titles such as Terraria. As you explore the planet you need to be wary of your oxygen, which can be replenished in certain areas of the planet or automatically when you're in your factory. Swimming also lowers your oxygen further. One of the best and most useful pieces of equipment at your disposal is the buzzsaw which can cut through pretty much anything swiftly and from a distance. The game features a lot of little things that took me by surprise. The astro worker automatically grabs ledges instead of you having to fully jump over the block like with most games of the genre. And another unique aspect I really like is the unstable environment. Environments. You have to be careful about how you cut through the environment because it can actually collapse and bury you completely or even bring your entire factory falling down further into the planet. This can be countered by adding stabilizer beams but it can be easily overlooked and once you see the cracks appear it's already too late. The process of making soup is quite simple. You can combine any two ingredients together in one soup machine, whether it be two different ingredients or two of the same ingredient. And once you have put them through the machine, it will automatically produce the soup for you. And that combination will remain on that machine for you to use again. Once your soup is combined and canned, you then need to get it into a space rocket in order to send it off to your hungry customers, which in return earns you money. The goal of each planet is to take over a hundred 100% of the market over the opposing soup company that is producing and shipping off soup at the same time as you. And this is where strategy becomes very important in order to win. You constantly need to pay attention every time this little message pops up that lets you know what ingredient is either popular or unpopular at the moment, and your market share will either rise or drop depending on what you ship. Of course, if you're not a fan of conquest mode, there is also SOOP, soup mode which allows you to freely build without any objectives or end goals, besides making nommy soups and huge mega factories. Fully functional and constantly flowing soup production is extremely important. Sure, when you first start the game, you'll be doing pretty much everything yourself. But after you complete each level, you will be rewarded with a useful upgrade that either benefits the way you explore the planet or the way you produce soup. You will start unlocking robots, which can be bought with money and they help bring a sense of constant flow to your factory, so you don't have to do absolutely everything yourself. I constantly kept thinking to myself, man, I wish I had a robot that would do this. And then maybe a level or two later, I was actually rewarded with a robot that did exactly that. So level 
completion is extremely satisfying and rewarding. Of course, matter and ingredients are not all you will find while exploring. You can also find research to collect, which add up to 100%, which rewards you with gum that you can chew to reward yourself with a special power up for a limited time. So not only will you be constructing, exploring, surviving and taking over the marketplace, but you will also need to defend your factory from the opposing soup company that attacks you every now and then. Turrets can be bought and placed around your factory, which can be repaired and reloaded at a cost, but you will also get into the fight yourself with your powerful fists and even your buzzsaw. Combat is actually really solid, being able to pull off running slide kicks, uppercuts and even more powerful attacks which wear you out. A lot more fun than I was expecting from a soup making game. And eventually you are even rewarded with awesome weaponry such as shotguns and swords. Nom Nom Galaxy just came out of no Nowhere and took me completely by surprise, and so far I've had a blast playing it. Not only is it a perfect mix of different and interesting genres, but it is also a perfect combination of relaxing exploring and constructing, but also stressful and surprisingly strategic. It's hard to explain. There is little I can fault about the game, really. I mean, sure, there is a glitch that happens when you build something on top of your character, and if he has nowhere to go, he just warps to higher ground where he does fit, but it is more amusing than anything. Another thing that might annoy people is that the levels can be quite long depending on your skill level. Constantly trying to outdo the other soup company in market shares can result in an overdue game of tug of war. But overall, Nom Nom Galaxy is, and I am not kidding, one of the most fun I've had in a game in 2015. It has a bit of everything that I like with its perfect genre mashup. Plenty of content to keep you busy for hours, split screen and online multiplayer, challenge modes and all the little things such as collapsible environments and the buzzsaw. I don't want this game to go overlooked and underrated in 2015, so I think you should go and pick it up right now and tell your friends about it. Nom Nom Galaxy contains a lot of different features and content to appeal to all different kinds of gamers and more importantly, it's just a fun game that needs to be experienced by everyone. Everybody. I will be playing this game well after this review and I hope you will be too. For everything else video game news reviews and impressions, subscribe and stay tuned to apgnation.com.